Commander, I've got a hail from Admiral Hackett. Put him through, Lieutenant. Shepard, we've uncovered a secret Cerberus lab. Function unknown. We sent in a recon team, but they were forced to pull out before they got very far. Any other intel? We think they're using the facility to warehouse and study Reaper tech. We've been wondering how Cerberus is connected to the Reapers, and this might give us some answers. We're on it. Find out what Cerberus is doing and get me any Reaper tech samples you can, Commander. Hack it out. to Metagel advances for Hanar. Only Cerberus would call that a failure. Well, that's weird looking. Guess we found it. Got the sample. Roger that. Meet you at the landing pad. Second sample located, Commander. Nav point updated. Good work. Cortez can pick us up. Nothing like having your back to the wall. Never said it would be easy. Oh, my God. 
Cortez, do you copy? I hope he's still alive. He'll make it. Let's just keep the landing pad clear. Extraction point, ready for pickup. Best engineers looking at the Reaper tech you secured from that lab. What was Cerberus doing with it? We don't know yet, but whatever Cerberus is up to, it can't be good. Even if we can't determine its purpose, we've disrupted their experiments. I doubt they'll just close up shop. Agreed. We'll keep sending strikes against the facility. Good work, Commander. Did you see the Citadel when we were there on leave? You'd never know there was a war on. They'll know soon enough. All those refugees have to go somewhere. I hope I didn't leave you hanging too long on that last Cerberus raid. I'm just glad we made it out in one piece. It's been a while since I've seen a dogfight like that. Really missed my trident. ACM isn't really the Kodiak strong suit. The circuit board is on its last legs. Commander, you have a message from Major Olenko. He must be feeling better. to an Alliance official. Figures. Finally back in action, the Alliance already wants us tagged and collared. Just our way of welcoming you back, Flight Lieutenant. Uh, yes ma'am. Requesting docking permission? Docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. We were deployed to Tiptree. It's a small human colony. We were supposed to help with evac. The enemy was landing. Just scouts, the Turian things, a few of the big ones. We were spread over half the continent, getting colonists to shuttles, wiping out husks. It sounds like you were doing good work. Could I have a gun? I'd feel a lot better. Just tell me what happened at Tiptree. The it's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the VI in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building, we know dead. The Supreme Court... Having a VI drive your body isn't life. Are Reaper husks alive? You did not just say that. But it's the same thing, isn't it? He walks and makes noises just like they do. Fine. I guess I'm just surrounded by zombies. Thanks. Took her long enough to get the hint. Yes, I know your stock of modified metagel is low, but... No, you don't understand. This isn't for... Listen, I am a surgeon at Puerto Memorial on the Citadel. We have several alien patients here at this time, and we need... 
No, regular Metagel won't work. We need the modified version for better absorption rates. Don't you dare hang up on me. This is a medical emergency. We can't wait forever on this. I found this Metagel formula. Figured you could make good use of it. Where did you find this? Never mind, it doesn't matter. Yes, we can put this to good use. Thank you. No, it's fine. We won't be needing your supplies after all. No, we found a better variant of Metagel that allows for an even higher absorption rate among aquatic species. You'd like a sample? Why, of course. We'll be happy to send you one. Just as we sent one to every pharmaceutical company in Citadel space. Commander Shepard. When I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane. Good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend, Caden. He got hurt protecting me. The human biotic in intensive care. I saw the marks of an implant. Yeah. We have spoken. He seems an honorable sort. Your enemies may try to finish him off here. I will look out for him. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Keppel's syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. I'm back on the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. It is not your time, but it is mine. Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness, and that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. We're at this little farm. We killed a few enemy scouts, and it's, it's quiet. The shuttle gets called away for support, so I'm there for the night. The humans get me dinner, show me around. One of them, this freckled farm girl, maybe 15. She wants to hear all about what it's like to be a commando. You were probably the most exciting thing ever to land at her farm. Yeah. She's saying she wants to be a pilot, and I say that life on a ship is grimy. And she asks if I'd like to use their shower. Going by my records, you'd been on active duty for more than three weeks? Probably no real chance to get clean in all that time. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Yes, I'm trying to place a call to Grissom Academy. They have biotic amp interfaces I may be able to adapt for Asari use. No, it won't connect. It says the station's communication system is offline. Of course. If these interfaces make our commandos better on the field, I'll hold for as long as you need. Listen to me, those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. I know the Ismar frontier isn't safe. Yes, yes. All I can say is that unless we get those prototypes back, this project accomplishes nothing. Thank you very much for your time. I'll call you if anything develops. 
I'd like an answer, Major. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you, no more than ever. You'll have it soon, Counselor. I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard? Udina? Hey. Shepard, hey. You, you just missed snack time. Actually, that's probably a good thing. Thanks for coming. No problem. What did Udina want? Still thinking about the Spectre position? It was a big honor. A huge responsibility. Just need to be sure. I got you this. Wow, thanks, Shepard. That's really great. Just a little pick-me-up. Maybe when I'm out, we can crack it open and celebrate. I am so ready to get out of here, Shepard. You can't tell, but I'm tied to this bed by medical red tape. I'm in Doc. Doc says I'm good to go, but then she always finds just one more test to run. You doing okay? My implant got a little rattled, so Doc just wants me to keep the biotics offline for a bit. It's really no big deal. Need me to break you out? <laughs> I'll let you know. I'm glad you asked me to come. It's good to see you're gonna be okay. Thanks. You almost died on my watch. It was horrible to see. And I care about what happens to you. Me too. That means a lot, Shepard. So I just want to make sure, after Mars, after Horizon, you and me, we're good. We've been through hell together, at each other's backs. That kind of bond is hard to break. No, not just that. You were my commander, sure, but you listened, too. And when I told you about how Rana broke my heart, you didn't judge me. You knew I needed that. We went through Ash's death together. Yeah. We did. So what do you say? Are we good? We're good. It was great to have you back on the Normandy. Thanks. I'm really glad you came by. Talking like this just reminds me how much I like you. We're good together. Feel like we've cleared the air? Yeah, you know, I'm... I'm not sure that I've been wrong about Cerberus, but I've been wrong about you. I should let you get back to the Normandy. Wish I could come with you. Take care of yourself, Caden. We need you at 100%. Will do. Thanks for coming. Something else, Shepard? Are we going to be able to get past what happened on Horizon? I'd like to, Shepard. As friends, as more than friends. I mean, I don't know. I just like having you in my life. So, how do we fix it? Maybe you should just know that I'm not seeing anyone and that I still care. Caden. Hey, look. There's a war on, and maybe you and me will never happen. But I needed you to know that, because that's how we'll get past Horizon. You've been injured. Sure you went right back in the thick of it? Are you kidding? <sighs> I want to kick the Reapers straight to hell. Cerberus, too. People near death say their lives flash before their eyes. Well, the future flashed for me. The anguish, the, the families, the children. It made me determined to live. I need to do something, Shepard. To save at least a few lives. Give me the update, Major. <laughs> Major, yeah. Congrats. There's obviously been a lot going on. Anderson asked me to take over a spec ops program. First Special Operations Biotics Division. We're recruiting the most talented human biotics from around the galaxy. What's the focus? Covert high-risk missions. Turn it down at first. I mean, teaching? <laughs> I prefer to get my hands dirty. Anderson can be pretty persuasive. Yeah, bit of a hard ass, but you can't argue with his kind of experience. Wouldn't take no, said it had to be me. With your history, you're the perfect choice. True. Human biotics are... We're different. Freaks, even. Most people in the galaxy still see us that way. But accepting it, 
Embracing it can be the difference between success and sitting at home in your PJs taking red sand. You said your implant got rattled. Everything good? Uh, the medical gibberish was a bit more impressive, but that's what I took away. Rattled. Found a great doc at HQ that's fascinated by the L2 implant. Kind of her pet project. The headaches are as bad as ever, but she's, she's got me on a regimen of acupuncture and meds and some nasty tasting concoction. Won't tell me what it is. But my biotics are stronger than ever. Maybe some things get better with age. Or maybe you have. <laughs> are you flirting with me, Commander? Wait, wait. Don't tell me. Let me live in the illusion. Where's your family? Are they safe? My family? My parents live in Vancouver, but Dad's family owns an orchard in the BC interior. They were headed out there on a shuttle the day of the attack. Heard from them? No, not yet. But I hope... Well, I'm hoping Dad's alliance training has kept them safe. Must be killing them not knowing where I am. I should probably get going. Thanks for coming by. Take care, Caden. Yes, but clone tissue replacement takes months. You'll need a prosthetic. Oh, no. I highly recommend talking to our resident psychiatrist before the operation. So I'm in the shower with hot water and everything. And that's when Nayira came. Nayira was another huntress on your ship? Yeah, my friend. I, I wanted it to be more than that, but she had a, a medical condition. It's okay. It's in the file. The farm girl calls in to me that another Asari is here. I thought the shuttle had gotten back early. I come out in a towel and... The and Nayira walks through the door. But it wasn't her. Not anymore. I can't take your word on this. But those assumptions merely leave my son stranded the in Sorry enemy territory. Intelligence is reporting sightings of Reaper forces in the Salia Nebula and the Nimbus Cluster. I fully understand the situation. Of course I read through the names of the dead every day, but... Please! Please, a few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Someone in your family is M.I.A.? My son, Bilal. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Balao's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. I think I recovered the obelisk you mentioned from the Shrike Abyssal. It's waiting in Bay D-24. Really? Thank you, Earth Clan. Were your people involved in a secret construction project of some sort? I am certain this obelisk would help. Thank you again, Earth Clan. Our military strength is minimal, but we are proud to help as we can. Good morning. Oh, hello, ma'am. Ma'am? We've had this discussion, young lady. You're to call me Teresa. Well, maybe my son didn't have the chance to marry you because of this damn war. But you're still family in my book. Nothing will ever change that. I... Of course, Teresa. I'll come back later during your break if you want. Treat you to lunch. What do you say? I would love that, Teresa. Thank you. Commander Shepard, 
John Dumbau, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet gray market trade relationships with the Batarians, and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. I've been after her for years. Kasumi? You're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. What do you need me to do? The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting? I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. So, remember when you helped me get KG's Grey Box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war? I thought we destroyed that information to keep you safe. There were enough clues left for me to piece things together when I... got curious. It was big enough to leak it to Bao. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. Shepard, I'm checking security reports. Can you track the transfers coming from the Hanar Embassy? On it. Bao's got a good plan. Hanar are predictable. Anything suspicious in their terminal use should narrow down our list of suspects. So you approve of Bao? Absolutely. He's a good specter. The galaxy needs more like him. And the fact that he's trying to arrest you? Well, nobody's perfect. Bao, I have some possible hits. Got some strange money transfers on Balone, and Alun is sending a lot of data. Balone's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Not sure about Alun. I'll pull his bio. I'll check Alun's personal records and pull his recent messages. Can I just note how odd it is for a Hanar to have a mistress? You know, if Bao catches up with you, I can grant you immunity. What, if I join up? Last time I did that, you wrote me into a suicide mission. I didn't say you had to join up. You were working your way around to it. Now arriving at ward level Can't purgatory. Can't believe did that. They were refugees. Damn it, it's not like they had much left to start with. Lost their homes, their loved ones, and some con artist swindled them out of what little they have left. Can't believe they won't let us stop the bastard. We still ought to do something about it. You heard the commander. No proof, no arrest. I filed a harassment complaint last time, remember? Gotta watch our backs. Not much we can do with this new detail anyway. What are we, a couple of mall cops? Could've just shot the bastard when we had the chance. I know we have heard complaints. We're doing what we can with what we've got here, but let me finish. Our power grid can only handle so much power before it shuts down, and we can't use the backups. No, the new regs apply to the whole Citadel. Management knows this is important for morale, but we can't go over budget. Look, I'm not touching the backups. Get me a better power grid, I'll give you a bigger light show. Those Cerberus bastards had us. Assholes. Shit, they just kept coming and coming. And not even sure from where. Fucking hell. And poor Bilal. They didn't have to take him out like that. Brutal. 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 Hey, you ready to get this party started? Hey, now you're, uh, here. Hell yeah, I'm here. For the next 48 hours, I'm spending as much time in this bar as humanly possible. Yeah, we have the same thought. So, um, the bar's over there, and, uh... Hey, is the whole squad here? Hey, guys! Um, yeah, 
troops need something to bring back their fighting spirit. Remember the stories of the first regiment on Castellus? Outnumbered, knowing they would die, but they fought for the Empire. That's the spirit we need if we're going to hold power. Commander Shepard, maybe I can help. The banner of the first regiment is waiting for you at Bay D24. The banner of Commander Shepard? I owe you a drink. Thank you. We'll hold that banner proudly as we take our homeworld back from these bastards. The banner of the first regiment. That should put some steel in their spine. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You think I don't like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, Commander. Uh-huh. What did you mean, then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers. Just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah? They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably? And you fill out a uniform like nobody's business. Just saying. But I know you're human. Just like me. But not them. Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. I've seen a hell of a lot, but I'm still just a soldier. I'm still one of them. Sure, but they don't know you. They just know what they've been told. Listen, you want them to see you're one of us, right? Maybe. Then buy them around. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres, hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On her. So here's to us. Who's like us? Damn few. And they're all dead. It's an honor meeting you, Commander. Thanks, but we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad, Shepard. I was hoping you'd know that one. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. So you admit you and your thugs are here illegally? Yes, and it only took C-Sec three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari Consular. Greetings, Arya. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my shit list. You will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. At least you escaped to fight another day. And that day is coming. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. 
Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. Give a criminal a gun, he'll shoot you in the back. They already have guns, Shepard. I'll make sure they point them at the Reapers. I'm trying to help you. Why don't you think it over? Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. <laughs> you obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. I'm telling you, I saw the dirt in his eyes. Not the answer, dumbass. It was like, come and get me, Dad. needs everyone they can get. None of us knows how to fight. Mackenzie's a biotic. Dave and Graham go to the pistol range. Oh, and Orion's always buying mods for his shotgun. The one he's never even fired. I love our friends, but we are not combat material. I just... I can't sit around watching what's happening to Earth anymore. You two could save lives by helping mm -hmm. doctors in the refugee camps. Um, thanks? Who was that? The first human specter. Wow, Commander Shepard? Yeah, that's good advice. Let's sign up as Med 10 volunteers. How's that sound? Much better than shooting myself in the foot with a rifle. Overcharging for goods. Denying refugees basic services. It seems the Reapers took our culture when they took our world. The Book of Plenix demands charity and forgiveness of debts in times of war. Of course, the Book of Plenix was lost on our home world, and now our people have lost their way. I think I'm ready to end it with him. Things weren't great even before he deployed, and if I pretend to be happy over the vents, it's not fair to him or to you. With all the craziness of a war going on, you deserve to be happy. And I'm not. I have to be honest with him. Then you need to tell him. Who cares about the money? Haven't you heard the news from Palavin? That's what your army is for. Nothing's going to reach the Citadel. We need to start manufacturing military tech. Nobody will need banking software if these reapers are just... The market for military goods barely carries a profit. Who do you propose as our buyer? The Council, the Empire, maybe the Alliance. Even if we don't make much now, they'll remember us when the war's over. I've seen Pelavin burning. Those fires aren't going out anytime soon. If you can help. Look, Cyrus, you want to sell your shares and walk fine, but I'm not selling financial VIs while my homeworld burns. Okay, okay, let me think. We could repurpose the VIs for upgraded targeting solutions. Right. We'd be able to use most of the hardware. The financial VI has more processing power than we need. No, no, that works. We'll rig the VI and it translates for all standard weapons. Refit weapons without having to overhaul your targeting computer. Rapid response flexibility. We'll make a fortune. A small fortune. We're selling these at cost plus 3%. Fine. Still working? One call leads to another, and here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. 
the last time I saw the Presidium. Remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Ezo, heavy arms, mercenary groups. Practical. I like it. You can get started by talking to the Volus Barlavon in his office. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. Commander Shepard. It's been some time. Barlavon, in case you've forgotten. Financial advisor. And an acquaintance of Admiral Anderson. I admire the courage it took for him to stay and fight on your home world. He used to be an agent for the Shadow Broker. I still am. The Broker has been exceedingly busy lately. A team of his guards have become stranded in a Reaper-controlled territory. Rescue the guards, and they're yours. The Shadow Broker fully supports your efforts against the Reapers. I appreciate the information. Just don't wait too long to act on it. The Reapers are advancing all too quickly. Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. The galactic market is in considerable flux. I don't think I can do this anymore. I know what you mean. I thought our training prepared us for everything. This. Every time that Asari commando sees me, she just starts screaming. I can even hear it when I'm trying to sleep now. I'm supposed to be helping her. But I feel like I'm breaking her world all over again every time she sees me. It's not your fault. Any human would probably trigger that reaction for her at this point. No. I looked up the file on that colony she was at. That girl she keeps talking about? We look alike. I shouldn't even be allowed in to help anyone. This is problematic. We must find a way to stabilize the heating unit so the water temperature can remain steady. The colony's location is hardly ideal for our species. The clutch will be in peril if we do not act soon. Of course, I will do everything I can do to help. We are family. The extreme weather conditions may require technology that is not readily available on the market. I'm afraid I can't help you. <laughs> but your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I don't even think we carry that version anymore. Listen, I don't need a new model or store credits or anything. I just want my money back. There's nothing I can do without a sales record of some kind. I can go get the warranty book for my car. Look, he is not going to leave. The sooner you refund him, the sooner you go home. Yeah, you're right. Let's get this over with. Here, I sent you a full refund. Really? Yes. You mean it? Of course I do. A full refund? Yes, congratulations. The whole 15 credits. Oh, wow. Hey, thanks. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go toward the Turian war effort. Oh, that's a lovely idea. I really appreciate management doing it. My husband's away on duty right now. Oh, you're bonded with Turian? No, actually, my husband's a Krogan. Oh. Well, that's great. I just hope he knows which ones to fight. Excuse me? Oh, I didn't... Uh, well, I, I just... My husband is risking his life to protect us right now. I'm so sorry. That was thoughtless and... Uh, I'm so sorry. No, no, I understand. Sometimes I'm surprised myself. Anyway, would you like to make a purchase? Yes. Yes, of course. Anything for our troops. Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world-shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality really exist? That kind of thing? I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. 
I believe he has a strong, affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? Uh, they'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, masking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades and my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. That's not how to think of it. It's gotta be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. No. <laughs> no, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. Edie, the important thing is to have a good time, wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity. But you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. Hey, Commander. Check it out. Big news. The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments, tips on how to make your apartment look bigger, and, oh yeah, a big-ass Reaper invasion. These people have no idea. When big events shake up the galaxy, people cling to what's familiar. You say that like it's a good thing. It's better than riots in the streets. I guess. I just wish there were a middle ground. You know, a little less gardening advice, a little more war prep? It'll happen, once there's something people can do to help. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. We've got to keep Jake in daycare. We should be socializing with other children. But what if there's another attack? We can't spend our lives waiting for that. We're in the middle of a war, and I'm just supposed to send him away every morning? I remember you two. Michael and Rebecca, right? Listen. Do whatever is best for you. We will. And thank you. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Good morning. I... Uh, I'm not sure why. There was something important I had to do. Oh, are you looking for someone, ma'am? I... Maybe. I have these papers, but I'm not sure why. Here, why don't I take care of these for you? Would that help? Yes. Yes, please. You know, you remind me of someone. My son. He's dating an Asari. She looks remarkably like you do. He's so very happy. Thank you. That's wonderful, ma'am. Shepard, to what do I owe the pleasure? I'm here to talk to you about releasing Jonas Sedaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. 
Sure thing. I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the Council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the CSAC outpost. My assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. Now arriving at docking bay E-24. Emergency civilian housing. Bao, Olun's doing some heavy lobbying for the Hanar to support the war effort. So he's clearly not indoctrinated. Who's opposing him? An unnamed Hanar recently posted here from Kaje. I'll check transit records for incoming Hanar. It all comes down to the war, and you trying to pull everyone into it. Would you rather the Reapers win? No. And I owe you for getting Keiji's gray box back from Hawk. But I can't do another collector base, Shep. The Reapers aren't people. I can't infiltrate a Reaper party and steal a big I win bomb. Way? Yes, we can. Tell your friends to move their ship out of the docking bay. Wait, please. My family's on board. Just let them land. I'll pay. This isn't about money. The wards are already at capacity for refugees. There's just no room. You let Asari in here earlier. That's back when we had space. Where is my family supposed to go? I don't know, all right. But they can't land here. Sure you can't squeeze in a few more people, officer? And who the heck are you? Oh, Commander Shepard. Uh, if that's what you think, I'll, uh, I'll find them some room. So my family can dock? Commander Shepard says your family's cleared. Just tell them to hurry. I... Thank you, Commander. Thank you so much. Excuse me, what was your name again? Uh, Yakar. Christophe Vasseur, good to meet you. How long have you been here? I don't know, I was... I'm not in there. I don't know how long it was since I escaped Leon. Do you know Leon? No. My brothers and sisters, we have faced adversity and overcome. This is but a test. Remember the pillars of strength that hold our people high. Show the galaxy our resolve. I know that your faith is weak. Our government has fallen, but if you hold the pillars of strength in your hearts, please, just don't give up. I recovered your pillars of strength from the kite's nest. They're yours, waiting in Bay D-24. Thank you. Right now, my people need any reminder of that faith they can get. Yeoman Kelly Chambers. Shepard, it's really you. I could just hug you. It's good to see you too, Kelly. <sighs> I've been so worried. Without my Cerberus contacts, I had no way of knowing if you'd survive the invasion. You're not with Cerberus anymore. Working with you opened my eyes, got me thinking. I looked closely at what Cerberus had done. In good conscience, I couldn't stay with them. You inspired me to leave. Come back to the Normandy. Please believe me. <laughs> I want nothing more than to be with you again, but I can't. Ever since the Collectors abducted us, I relive it every night. I see Joker running out. Then that cold hand pulls me back. They're above me, around me. They stuff me into that coffin and I'm relieved that they aren't touching me anymore but then it's so small you can't breathe it seems like forever I watched people melt God hey it's okay I'm fine I just can't step back onto the Normandy. I'm sorry. Don't be. And even if I could, I shouldn't. I'm making a difference here. If there was ever a reason I studied psychology, it was to help people at a time like this. Didn't think Cerberus liked people going AWOL. They don't. But Cerberus has more important things to worry about than me. Don't take chances with Cerberus. Change your look, change your name, get new identification. That takes time, and the people here need my help. Do it, Kelly. 
Okay, I will. If you think I should. I'm so glad you found me. Seeing you makes everything right again. Oh, and your fish. Nobody was going to take care of them with you in custody, so I saved them. I'll send them back to you. Oh, I need to run. Please be careful. Let's check on those. Wow. Arya wasn't kidding. The great Commander Shepard on a leash. I'm here for my own reasons, Vosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. Which is? The Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. There must be more to Oraka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Oraka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. You seriously think I'll assassinate a Turian general? Arya seems to think so. Or else, why would she send you? She knew the price. The two of you work it out. Oh, and, uh... <laughs> Tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. What is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Oraka. Who cares what Vosk wants? What he needs is for Oraka to stop disrupting his operations. I figured you'd talk to Oraka, see if you can get him to lay off. And if he won't listen to reason, call me, and I'll take care of it. I don't see the distinction. The distinction is that I'm giving you the chance to save his life. Right. Why didn't you just tell me this yourself? Vosk needed to see you, needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, if I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. Yeah, he mentioned that, uh... That I'm going to sleep with him? We all have our delusions. We just got a report that another ship made it up Palavan. How many on board? 30 or 40 survivors. That's all. They said the fighting's getting worse. Well, let's find some room for them. Now, this is going to be home for a while. Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the Council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting Reapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single Reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war. It's slaughter. They're called Reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. There's a lot more war to go. You have a copy of a Shepard VI. Oh, yeah. The one based on that war hero? We locked it after some kids spilled soda over the hardware. I'll unlock it, but we've only got the demo version working. Good to meet you. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Extranet says you're Alliance military. Take care of yourself out there, officer. There's nothing this galaxy can't beat if we all work together. Except the Reapers. Ever see the size of one of those things? My personality matrix can predict what the real Commander Shepard would say with 7% accuracy. I've got a list of new Hanar arrivals, Val. Damn. These are all
all face names. The Hanar names from the Alliance raid are soul names. And Hanar soul names are private. There's no public record. Can you get back to their personal communications? On it. Maybe we'll find names there. So how's the rest of the gang? Met up with anybody else? Garrus is helping out on the Normandy. He never could pass up a good fight. What about Jacob? Haven't heard from him. See? Jacob could have gotten me back onto the Normandy. I'm touched. Val, here's the correspondence. If there's any mention of soul names... I've got it. A recent arrival. Zamandis. Soul name regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair. He was with the Alliance team that massacred the Batarians. He's been on special research assignment ever since. So, he got his tentacles on some Reaper tech. Looks that way. I'm sending you the nav point for his office. I'll meet you there. Now arriving at Presidium Have Commons. you decided how to tell him? I don't know. A text message is so impersonal. He's off risking his life. He deserves more than that. I could record something, but I hate leaving vid messages. I always get flustered. Maybe you need a script. Or maybe I need to get him on a vid call so I can do it face to face. Who knows when he'll be deployed somewhere with an open comm channel. He knew it'd be hard to communicate when he left you here. Quick, hands behind your back. We'll be here any minute. What the hell are you talking about? Crete, Blood Pack's leader. Arya brings him the great commander, Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Not the best start to our friendship, Narl. He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and... Uh, try to look like I beat you up or something. This better be on the up and up. Quiet! I have to look even more powerful than Creek thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this. <sighs> Commander Shepard wants you to know your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Creek. So, do you agree to Arya's terms? <sighs> Most definitely. Arya can use Blood Pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Crete. Grill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! Not him! Grill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes! Yes. I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I'll scratch yours. Word of advice, don't double-cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. Uh-huh. Good work, Narl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. Mm. Thinking of going? To Sanctuary, I mean. Sorry, I, I thought you were looking at the ad. Of course not. Sanctuary is a scam. What? Oh, count on it. Somebody's making money off people's fear. Wish I'd thought of it myself. You look horrible. Oh, it's okay. I'm just trying to be nice. I'm willing to bet you look worse than I do. Yeah, well, did you hear about the chemical fire and those kids from level 24 that they brought in last night? Yeah, I was there when they brought them in. Oh, shit. I am so sorry. I shouldn't have brought that up. Look, if you need anything... I don't want to talk about it. I've connected with Jonas Sedaris and her cell, Commander. You can speak with her via that console. Thanks. We'll need some privacy. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. Who's that spying on me now? Ah, uh, I see. Good. Arya's indentured servant has finally come to deliver me to freedom. I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. <laughs> oh, yes. You've killed.
killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. It'd be smart to bury the threats, Sidaris. I'll toss them into the caskets with my victims. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Sane, my second in command, is a weak willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from you. Commander Shepard. General Araka. I think we met in Korra's den. You were pretty miserable, if I recall. Yes. Neck deep in drink just before I retired. I'm clean now. Reinstated. I hear you're taking on the Blue Suns. I need to do my part for the Citadel, Commander. The Blue Suns are raiding CSEC weapons shipments. I'm putting a stop to that. Those mercs are seriously jeopardizing the Citadel's ability to defend itself if the war comes here. When the war comes here. There are other ways to secure weapons, General. You don't think I've tried? There's a black market dealer on Citadel right now, but he won't sell his top-line arms. The Reapers are destroying everything in their path, and I can't stop them. But I can stop the Blue Suns. Let me see what I can do for you. I'd appreciate your help, and I'll have a plan of action ready if things fall through. Look, Commander, I don't want any trouble. I'm authorized to sell here, and all my arms are legal, see? These are lightweight weapons. Where's your top-end inventory? Shit, you slumming for C-Sec too? I already got harassed by the old Turian with a bad attitude. Yeah, I got much better stuff, but it's off the market. Galaxy's going belly up. Credit won't mean anything once the Reapers rip through. So what exactly are you saying? Whatever happens, I figure there'll be survivors, but it'll be chaos. I'm betting things will run on a barter system. So I'm getting a jump. My best stock only trades for hard goods and artifacts with real value. So what gets me access to your top shelf? Heh, <laughs> Turian just waved credits in my face and then spat on it. Nice to see you have flexibility. If you find any rare pieces when you're out saving the galaxy, bring them back. Then I'm happy to share my top stock with CSEC, no problem. Outside of that, I gotta stick to my guns. <laughs> Hey, I remember you. Shepard, right? Heard you're fighting the Reapers. Matriarch Athena. You were working on Ilium. How'd you end up here? Well, with the Reapers making noise, I figured it was time to get somewhere safer. So I moved here. I don't think so. I've seen some video footage of you looking at Liara. Yeah. Uh. Mm. Matriarch Benazio was, um, was her mother. And, uh, well, she doesn't know it, but I was her father. You mean you were her other mother, right? No, I didn't pop her out. Hell, she never even met me. Sorry. If you were human, you'd both be called the mother, regardless of which one gave birth. Well, I'm not human, am I? Anthropocentric bag of dicks. Liara would love to meet you. Why? She doesn't even know me from a hole in the ground. Panesia ran off before the kid was born. Besides, this isn't charity work. She's one of the biggest intel brokers in the galaxy. And she's got some shady connections. Like a human commander that used to work for Cerberus. I only worked with Cerberus to fight the Reapers. And you're not with him now, I know. If you were, you wouldn't get within a light year of Liara. 
Is that a threat? I'm no commando, but I've had a thousand years to learn to fight dirty. Nobody messes with my girl. Anyway, you combine her work with Vanessa, and... Well, the matriarchs might have ordered a hit. I hadn't agreed to keep an eye on her. I bet she'd like to meet you. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. That bartender over there? The matriarch hired by the Asari government to track my movements? She's your father. I know. You know? I'm a very good information broker. And you haven't talked to her about spying on you? If I did that, they might send someone who wasn't as sympathetic to me. Besides, this is hardly the time for family reunions. Liara. Oh, fine. The Alliance military has abandoned the Hades Gamma Cluster to come on. Can't blame the matriarchs for keeping an eye on you. I am not my mother. Mm, you did threaten to flay someone alive with your mind. I had to make them take me seriously. I wasn't going to actually do it. And... You bugged my office on Ilium. That'd be the logical conclusion. Yeah. The matriarchs aren't gonna do anything to you. Especially in the middle of this damn war. My reports don't show much activity from the Asari military against the Reapers. Come on. You know how Asari work. Infiltration and sabotage. But against Reaper forces. That's... I know. About as useful as tits on a Hanar. Good thing we've got the Turians and the Krogan to do the heavy lifting. Our people just aren't built for the front ranks. So, yeah. My dad was a Krogan. Yes, I'm aware of that. So, that makes you a quarter Krogan. That's not how it works. I'm a thousand years old. I've had kids with Hanar. Don't tell me how a sorry production works. Wait, I have a half-sister who's part Hanar. I thought that wasn't how it worked. All I'm saying is, if you feel the urge to headbutt something, it's genetic. I have never wanted to headbutt anything. Really? Not even a little bit? Come on. I do not headbutt people. All right, fine. Don't go all blood rage on me. Or what? You'll tell the other matriarchs to order a hit. Hey, that's not going to happen. Nazi and I were together for more than a century. You loved her? Of course I loved her. She was so smart. Always thinking. Nice, too. Hell of a lot nicer than I. But damn, that rack. I mean, even before she hit the matriarch stage. You don't need to tell me everything. Nezzy was the only one who ever listened to me when I said the Asari were stuck in the past. Only difference was, I wanted us to stand on our own. She wanted alliances with the other species. Is that why... Why it ended? Nah. Well... Maybe. I don't know. Mostly it ended because she wanted to solve things the smart way. I wanted to fight. Those aren't mutually exclusive. Yeah. I hear you've racked up quite a body count. But then, you are a quarter Krogan. Now you're doing it on purpose. It was pretty clear she was leaving. Can't be the wise counselor when you're married. Why not? Sex appeal. No species only pay attention if they want to have sex with you. So, you have to be available. Mysterious. What? That's not true. Shepard listens to me. <laughs> and you're single, aren't you? You think Shepard is... No. No. I made her promise to let you go your own way, though. No matter what she wanted. Really? I knew you'd be special, kid. Any daughter of hers. I told her, you're treating her like a baby bird, Nezzy. She's gonna raise one hell of a storm with those little wings. Little wing? You okay? Yes. Thanks. 
better to remember her like this than as whatever she turned into with that Saren bastard. It wasn't her fault. She was trying to stop Saren, guide him as a force of good. But she was indoctrinated. Look, I heard stories about the Reapers messing with her head. They're more than stories. I've seen it. Every Cerberus soldier is a Reaper slave. She fought it with every fiber of her being. She even broke free and helped Shepard on Novaria before she died. I was there. She said I'd made her proud. All this time, I blame Nezzy for it. A thousand years old, and I still don't know crap. Thanks for telling me. Just take care of yourself out there, okay, kid? I will, Dad. Hey. <clears throat> I've called a few friends. Commandos. Eclipse girls who uh, owe me some favors. They're all yours. Just tell them where to go. You're giving me a sorry commandos? Well, you're too old for me to buy you a damn pony. You're the best father a girl could wish for. Now arriving at Dogging Bay E24. Emergency civilian housing. Leon is on Earth. A beautiful city. You should visit. I, I was on my boat when, boom, the sky went black. Dust and ash. A giant metal wall rushed down. I fell into the river. Do you humans ever stop talking? When I climbed out, I heard screaming. The metal wall started to move and I realized it was a leg. Only one of the Reaper's legs. What about the food we were promised? It's been allocated to the Presidium. Then contact Commander Bailey over at CSEC. Tell him Garrus Vakarian would consider it a personal favor if he could reallocate the shipment so these people don't starve. Men, get ready for trouble. Not here for that, Zane. Just want to talk about Jonas Sedaris's release. Oh, you're the one coordinating that, right? My idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. I'm leveraging it to bust the boss out. Saying you should run Eclipse. Huh? You can do it. Leave Sedaris locked up and make the deal with Arya yourself. Hmm. Arya would be a step up. And you think she'd let me run things? I don't see why not. Right. Right. Then that's the plan. Keep Sedaris in jail. I'll call Arya right away. Good man. Shepard, the Council withdrew the release order for Sedaris. Arya, Talok of all people, got him to do it. Crazy. You can say that again. Thanks for your help, Shepard. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. She's got this... glow. And the Reapers. They did to her what they do to everyone. She's covered in... I don't know. Glowing. She reaches out. Her eyes go black. And she touches one of the farmers, and he just... dies. They panic. She rips them apart. Sometimes touching, sometimes opening them up with biotics. The humans are turning into... liquid. And I'm there, in my towel with no gun. And husks start pouring through the door. Goddess. So I ran. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. So you're just silent behind enemy lines until the war is over? No, they've got us on rotation. We're mostly in fortified holding zones until strike teams clear an area. Then we come in and set up medical bunkers and supply depots. And then the main fleet comes in to occupy. I'm not wearing commando leather, honey. What does that mean? We'll be perfectly safe. They don't put engineers on the front lines. But you won't be able to talk to us. 